All right, the next class up is the secret of mosaicing, the secrets of mosaicing with beads. Okay, so I'm first gonna show you the curriculum. All right, we're going to talk about the benefits of using beads. All of these are the benefits. Create a high level of intricacy and detail in your mosaic design. Add a variety of scale and texture to your tesserae. Exciting options of colors and materials. You can refine the form of a three-dimensional object. So again, you know, once you glue those bulky tiles on, you start to lose that nice, graceful shape. Put on some low-profile beads and you're just nice and tight. So there's a lot um, to explore there. Bring a unique elegance and intimacy to a mosaic. There's a lot of kind of um, engagement and um, it invites the viewer to come closer and it pulls them in. It becomes more of an interactive experience once you put those beads on because how can you resist, you know, touching a little nest of seed beads. Fine line control is achieved with seed beads. So instead of having to, you know, nip and cut, you can just, um, you know, create a nice line with laying out a row of beads. When to use beads in a mosaic, create intricate patterns, outline design elements, borders and edges. How to apply beads in a mosaic, we're going to talk about all these different techniques, different adhesives that I love. I use a lot of adhesives in combination. I find that some, you know, really support one another. We're going to discover all of those things. Wrapping seed beads. Um, I've done a lot of candlesticks. I'm going to show you how I do that. How to wrap the seed beads around a candlestick and then grow them. Setting outlines. Creating soothing rows with movement and flow. How to use beads as a fast filler. I have a fancy technique called dip and stick. It'll blow you away. Spiky texture. Incorporating glass, tile, and found objects. I love mixing all different types of materials together. So we're going to work on that too. Grouting beaded mosaics, that's um, a biggie. A lot of you had questions about grouting beads. It's a, it's a frightening thing to do, and I've done a lot of it. So I'm going to help you maneuver that and uh, get through it successfully, successfully and make sure your piece is shining and looking really good when it's finished. So we're going to talk about what to use. Um, I also paint my grout, or I might even skip grouting altogether and only use paint. I'm also a fan of India inks. So we're gonna talk about that too. And different types of beads, there's glass beads, seed beads, bugle beads, fresh water beads, <laughs> imitation, uh, pearls, shells, natural materials, rhinestones, plastic, found objects, and then beads to avoid. And then uh, all the different ways of sourcing beads. And one thing I want to mention here is that I connected with my local source of beads at a J Ring Glass, and she just got back from Tucson, the big you know bead and gem show. And I told her how I'm you know coming up with this class, and all of you are going to be looking for different sources for beads, and I would love to offer you a source where I've already kind of gone through and handpicked different beads that I know will work for your projects. And since um, she has such a large inventory and is close. And she uh, also offers, now is offering 50% off of all of her beads. Can you believe that? 50%. So um, my plan for this class is to go meet with, meet with this vendor, look through her beads, find the ones that I love, that I've used or I want to use or I want you to try. And, and then we're gonna try to get them available for you. So that's one perk of the class. And then we're going to talk about how much to buy. That's a biggie too, is um, do you want to buy like the whole bundle or just a few strands? We're going to break that down. Storing beads. And then all of the um, bonuses in this class, uh, setting up your creative space, inspiration boards, sketchbooks, art and design books, bead and mosaic artists to follow, and community resources. I hope you all are hearing me okay. I think because I'm doing a screen share, I can't see your... Um, your messages, but it looks like we have 100, 103 are here um, watching. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. Okay, so here are the class details. $300 for this class, same price as the in-studio class with uh, access is lifetime. Forever, you will have access to all of the class lessons, the videos, 
and the Facebook uh, community, which is huge. And again, travel expenses, zero. The dates for this class, the video lessons will be posted on May 4th. And then the class webinar will be one week later on May 11th. And the class is at your own pace. The webinars will be recorded and posted after. So you'll never miss a thing. Uh, a lot of you are international and are different time zones. So uh, you don't have to worry about missing anything. And you can always you know, message me and send me your questions and photos. I love seeing photos of your process and your work. And then I incorporate all of those into the webinars. So um, the rest of the class can see. We, I love sharing with the class what everybody's working on so you can learn from each other's projects. So that kind of in-studio community is still there and strong.